Afternoon guys, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School, back out here with the bedroll that we created, the Kephart modified bedroll that I created with Duluth Pack Company. We did a video on this about a month, month and a half ago on the prototype, the original, and I took a lot of suggestions and feedback from folks on YouTube about how to make improvements to this before we got to the final model. And we think what we've got here is a final prototype or a final model that's ready for production of that bedroll. I've got a wool blanket rolled up in this one so you can see the approximate size of it with a wool blanket rolled inside of it. And it probably weighs, considering my wool blanket weighs about 7 pounds, 8 pounds, this thing probably weighs close to 10, 11 pounds. So you've got some weight here. But things like this, you know, are made to roll all of your stuff inside of that you absolutely need. And this is really what you're carrying as a backpack sort of accoutrement over the shoulder. You've got your spare clothing rolled up inside here. Maybe you've got a haversack that's got your extra cutting tools, maybe some cordage in it, got your container in there, and this is more of a scouting type situation. So what I want to do is I want to break this thing open. I will not set it up today in the configuration of a cot because I already showed that once and that has not changed. The things that we did change were grommet holes for tie outs to make it a tarp or use it for a tarp or a lean and also tubes on the ends so that you can make a better hammock out of it. And that's what we're going to set up today. So stay with me guys. All right, real quick, guys, I wanted to show you what this looks like unrolled. Um, this is my wool blanket rolled up inside. And if you look here, what we've done is, again, by suggestions from the folks on YouTube, there are grommets on all four corners to use for tie-outs. There is a zipper pocket here that can be used to put things in if you need to put them in your bedroll, but also in the evening or at night when you're sleeping in this, you can stuff this for a pillow. You could put spare clothing and things like that in there and stuff that for a pillow. And then it has the extra tubes on the end to make it work better for a hammock. Same tubes on the sides, same width, same length. We didn't change any of that. All right, guys, let me show you how I'm setting this up. This hammock is far more impressive than I ever would have imagined. i got to give you guys some huge kudos on these crossbars. This is probably the most comfortable hammock I've ever laid in. What I've done here is I've just put in a crossbar that's plenty long and I just wrapped it around a couple of times around the bar and I already had my ropes threaded through these sleeves before I did that. So once I threaded the rope through the sleeve I just took and took a couple wraps of the rope around the sway bar. And that's pretty much going to hold it in place by friction and I can spread that out as wide as I want to on the sway bar on both sides. Okay, once I get to the other side of my hammock or the other end, I'm going to slide my sway bar through and then I'm going to tie a self-tightening type knot on here called a clove hitch. Pretty simple. I'm going to turn one loop in the line. I'm going to turn another loop in the line the opposite direction. And that's going to give me line coming out from both loops. You can see this. If I open that up, you can see what it looks like. It almost looks like a figure eight. Fold that up, put it on my sway bar and pull it tight. And that's going to give me a self-tightening knot right there. Okay, so now I'm going to pick this whole thing up and make sure that my sway bar and everything is pretty even. It looks like it can slide back just a little bit on this side, so I'll go ahead and give myself a little slack here and pull here. That should tighten that up. I should be able to pull that right through and that even it right up. Now I'm going to put these two lines around this far tree separated. I'll get the camera up here and show you what I'm doing right there. So this is going to be a little fancier than a five minute shelter, but as far as the knots go. <laughs> so I've got both lines wrapped around opposite directions like this. I'm going to pull on both of them just like this to get my hammock evened up. If it's more, more even on one side than the other, or uneven on one side, all I have to do is pull. Once I get that thing level, like that, Excuse me for having to move this camera around so much, guys. Then I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to cross these lines and wrap them over the top, just like this. Pull my tag in. Now that's got that thing tightened up pretty good. And if I need to make adjustments, I can do it through here just by doing this. but I've almost got a constrictor type knot on here now. 
that can't come undone. And then all I'm going to do is cross this line one time. And I hope you guys are kind of seeing this. Let's get this thing closer where you can see, hopefully. It's kind of shady in here. So now I've got the lines going over in opposite directions. I'm going to cross this line one time, just like this. Come around the tree and run my slack around the line just like this in loops. Once I get those tags ran all the way around, I'm going to come through one, so one piece of the rope and only one piece and pull it up the middle just like that. That will give me a tight knot that's not going to come undone until I want it to. Okay? If I wanted security, I could pull all the way through or I could take this and pull it through here and tighten it down on itself. Kind of like this. Just like that. Pull it down on itself and it's still going to be pretty easy to get out, but I'm going to have that security right there. And I've still got the loop as if I had a toggle in there. Okay, fellas, so once we get our hammock hung up, we got our sway bars even. Got a nice bucket here to lay in. We've got our pillow portion at the top that we can stuff for a pillow if we want to. All that's left to do now is to climb in. Tell you, I've laid in this once already. Actually, a couple of times. <laughs> You'll see at the end of this video. But uh, this is uh, awesome, guys. Once you get used to how to put this thing on and get those clove hitch knots right on your sway bars, because they'll be adjustable at that point, and you can adjust that sway bar back and forth a little bit. Man, oh man, is this comfortable? It doesn't wrap up around you like a normal hammock does. It gives you a lot of airspace, so I really think that in the summertime, even though this is a lot thicker material than Sil and I would be, in the summer this would be cooler. And probably in the winter it would be warmer because it's thicker. It's not going to suffer as much from convection as the Sil and I does. You might still need a pad in there or a wool blanket, but it's not going to be near as bad as Sil nylon would be. And I think with this open airspace like this and not being tacoed in, man, I think this would be a whole lot cooler. Get you a wedge shelter above this thing, or you know, get your ridge line up here and get one side of that shelter up so the breeze is being caught and dropped back down. Get that convective breeze going through here. Man, oh man, you'd be smoothing it. Boy, them guys, Kephart and Nesmick, were some smart dudes. That's all there is to that. Goodness gracious, this is comfortable. This is like being out in a yard hammock. Just go to sleep in this dude. Man, I think I'm gonna catch a few Z's. I'll see y'all later. Well, guys, I appreciate you joining me today for this video on setting this modified Kephart style shelter bedroll up into a hammock. And, you know, the feedback that I got from you guys on Facebook, or excuse me, on YouTube and Facebook, actually, about this setup were priceless. Having those sway bars in there, you know, it's one of them dumb moments. Why didn't I think of that? Now you have a lot of options. The grommets in the corners, great idea for just a half shelter if you needed an emergency throw your wool blanket on the ground and go. You've got the sleeves in this thing on the sides to set this thing up into a cot or a raised bed type situation. And then those ends for the sway bars, fantastic for a hammock. In fact, this would probably be my preferred setup of this system, no doubt about it. This would definitely be my preference. And then the pocket that we added in here for a pillow or whatever the case may be for you to put things into your bedroll, fire kit, whatever, when you roll it up. No doubt this is a really, really good system. Tom at Duluth Pack makes some just fantastic products. All of his stuff is guaranteed for life, made in the USA, and that's what I like about it. This is a product that we developed together, guys. We developed this product together. All of your suggestions went into this product. Now, remember that anytime you add things, you know, I've tried to keep this as common man price as possible, but anytime you add things like more material, grommet holes, zippers, pockets, all of that stuff adds to the cost, but it's just a beautiful piece of gear and it's kind of like a one piece of gear that does four or five different things for you in your kit. I mean, you could make a litter out of this if you had to carry someone out of the woods. No question about it. Either with a Travoy style or four-man carry. 
or six man carry, whatever the case may be, depending on how heavy the guys you're carrying out. But this is just a fantastic piece of gear. I thank you guys for joining me for this quick review and you know, final R&D segment on this Kephart modified style bedroll. I'm not sure what we're going to call this thing yet. We'll figure it out when the time comes. Should be available pretty soon. I thank you for all the support you give me, my family, my school, my business, all my friends, affiliates, associates, all my sponsors like Duluth Pack. We thank you for your views and thank you for your support. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks. Okay, so once you've got that dude ready to go, you know, it's just like any other hammock. Just get in that thing.